Ignition sequence start. On July 20th, 1969, Six, five, mankind's four, greatest three, achievement was about to take place. One, two, three, and the only way on Earth to see it was through a dish in the middle of nowhere. We just got word from Houston. Let's go for launch. I mean, no offense, but the Americans spend billions of dollars to let us watch man walk on the moon, and in the end, it falls to you, blokes. <laughs> How do you feel about that? A lot better before you open your trap. While the whole world watched... In a few days' time, we'll be watching television pictures from the surface of the moon. Imagine stuffing that up. A small town in Australia was getting ready to make history. The whole town is over the moon. <laughs> Certainly takes your mind off our trivial concerns. Elbow. Oh, <laughs> over the moon. <laughs> we are in the middle of the greatest feat ever attempted. Do you want to go out Friday night? Yeah, ask her out. Um, did you just say, do you want to go out Friday night? Maybe. I'm not sure. They'd thought of everything. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of the United States of America. And then, the unthinkable happened. Oh, who's playing funny buggers? Uh, Houston, got a problem. I think the computer's wiped. Are we stuffed? Yep, we're stuffed. Let me get this straight. Southern Hemisphere's prime receiving station has no idea where Apollo 11 is. Yeah, it's on its way to the moon. Going. Good. Mosey, can you keep a secret? <laughs> Man's about to walk on the moon. And he still will. I made a commitment to NASA, and I intend to fulfill it. Let's do it. You've got a visitor. It's the ambassador of the United States of America. Oh, God. Space nut knows everything about Apollo. You know where it is? The dish. It's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind.